People, y'all got to learn how to pray. You pray whether you don't understand it or not. You just pray, pray, pray anyway and never stop. Well, the doctor said, I don't care. Pray anyway. Well, the, the, you know what, what the, the physician said this. You know, the other people, I had five doctors to say, I don't care what they say. Pray anyway. Jacob prayed about Esau. You remember this story about Jacob when he's dealing with Esau? You know, he had cheated his brother real bad. And Esau, they say, was coming at him with 400 armed men. 400 armed men. What's that mean, 400 armed men? He was coming to kill him. He was coming to kill him. And so Jacob prayed. Well, Jacob didn't want to get dead. Jacob didn't want his children and his whole family to be slaughtered. And you know them folks slaughter folk over there. And so Esau coming with 400 armed men. So Jacob started praying. The Bible says Jacob started praying, and he prayed all night long, and he wrestled with a man. He was left alone and wrestled with a man until daybreak. Then the man said, let me go, because it's daybreak. You didn't pray enough. See, sometimes folk going to tell you, you don't need to pray no more. You done prayed enough. Sleep will tell you. You don't need to pray no more. Television will tell you. Oprah will tell you. She fixing to come on. Tyler Perry coming on TV. I got to stop praying. You know, I need to watch some TV. I need to listen to the radio. I need to cook some food. See, a lot of stuff will tell you. You need to stop praying. But see, here's what Jacob said that you need to learn. He said, I'm not going to stop praying. I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. See, sometimes y'all got to keep on praying until you get your blessing. You can't let somebody stop you from praying when God said, I'm going to give you what you need, anything you need. Don't give up. Don't quit. Never stop. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Then the man said, now check this out. Your name will no longer be Jacob. But Israel, I want you to know sometime, maybe your name has been poverty. Maybe your name has been lack. Maybe your name has been the bottom. Maybe your name has been sick. But when you start praying, God can change your name. God can say, your name now is no longer the bottom. Your name is the top. Your name is no longer sick. Your name is well. You need to understand, your name is no longer lack, but abundance. Your name has been changed. You need to keep praying till God change your name. 